Okay, so today I'm going to be showing over some auto blend shader stuff just as a showcase. Um, so this is designed as a pipeline for artists to speed up their level design um, and make their work a bit more efficient with a better end result. Um, so here we have two identical meshes. Uh, they're the same, except for the one on the right is using my own custom shader, and the one on the left is just using a standard shader. Uh, so if I pull these both down into the terrain here, like we are going to start laying out a level, we can see immediately that the one on the right is automatically blending uh, with the terrain below, and the one on the left is not. This is what you see in most uh, traditional games where we just have a very hard seam, um, and then it just doesn't really look like it fits here. Um, versus this where we have a nice transitional phase where we can just drop this into the scene and it will blend automatically. Um, we also have some parameters here so I can change the distance of the blend as well as the fall off. So here we can see we're just offsetting it up a bit and adjusting the fall off accordingly so we can get kind of a sharper blend or a softer blend. Um, we can also just change the contrast to that a little bit so we can kind of break it up based on the height of the uh, mesh underneath. So um, going over this, basically this projects from the terrain uh, upwards. So if really whatever we do to the terrain will transfer over to this model. So I don't need to vertex paint anything on here. I don't need to copy the terrain shader over. Um, I can really simply just go in and, and paint on this terrain. And if I drag that down, you'll see that it will automatically update that blend. I'm gonna make this blend a bit more obvious here. I'm gonna make it a really big blend, even though it doesn't look so good, just so we can preview. Um, so if I paint that out, we can see it updates totally fine. Um, and, that, and it's not just limited to these two textures. Uh, I just didn't wanna set up a bunch of them. So you can really have any amount of layers that you want, any type of material, um, and it will automatically sort out that blend for you. Additionally, I can also go in here and sculpt. So I can sculpt upwards and kind of it, the, the blend will follow this, this transition upwards. So really, however I sculpt, it will follow it up and keep the blend going really no matter how we do this. So this lets me just drop this asset into the scene and then just paint around it and slowly blend everything in. So I'll just smooth that all out. And then we can adjust our parameters to fit. And there we go. Um, so I'll also show over the buffers because it's not really just only a projection. Um, we're also getting some pretty cool things going on in the buffers. So if I go into the world normal, this is the most notable one. So if you see the asset on the left here, um, this is just the normals baked from the model in world space. Um, so really we get this hard transition when we put this into the ground of the normals, where this normal is facing upwards and this one's trying to face right. Um, and then we get this hard intersect where the lighting just kind of cuts along this scene. Um, but on this version, we can see that we get this normal correction. So if I lift this up, we can see it's the exact same as this one. But as I bring it down and in, we get this nice intersect with the terrain below it and it smooths everything out. Um, I'll also just drop the displacement down a bit because that's a bit too jagged. So very nice soft transition. I'll also go into detail lighting so you can see what the actual lighting difference is here with the original mesh that has no um, blending seams. So we get this, this really hard, hard cut. And then here we get a perfectly smooth, uh, perfectly physically correct blend. And uh, as well, we also have this uh, little correction um, dithering here. So it's just really a, a pixel depth offset um, as well, just to add a bit more to the blend. So if we just increase that, we can see we, we get a nice little transition um, for when everything cuts over. Let my buffer catch up. All right. And so that's pretty well all I have for you. Um, I'm really excited to see if this pipeline is something artists would be interested in, if it would speed up your workflow. Um, so leave a comment if, if uh, this is something that you've kind of been dreaming for uh, in Unreal Engine um, and if this would actually help you out or if you think it's just more efficient to go through um, in vertex paint or, or just kind of drop things into the scene and stitch them together. Um, but that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed.